Hello everyone, welcome to another review by The Virgin Prime and today I'm going to be checking out The Skull Devil from Hia Toys and this is from the movie Kong Skull Island obviously, right? He's one of the guys that got his ass kicked by the Kong and um, so this one's also on loan to me by uh, the homie near Gojira and um, if you saw the previous one I did the Godzilla Minus One that's the, the first one I did and he also got this one and he gave it to me to open it up unboxing and checking it out so I'm not too too familiar with any of these figures I did check out the minus one and it was cool and I think we're going to compare the quality with the Hia Toys I hear um, Hia Toys is like you know duking it out with SH uh, Monster Arts for the to see who the king of the of the MonsterVerse is going to be and um, maybe later I'll be able to compare uh, a Hia Godzilla with the SH ones. But in the meantime, I'm just going to check out the quality on this one. Since now I got a feel for the, for the SH one with the Godzilla Minus One figure I just reviewed. Go check that review out. Also, I'll leave the, the homie's YouTube channel near Gojira right here on the bottom. If you guys can go subscribe to him. Check out his channels. He's on the Twitch. He's on the X. He's on the Instagram. He's trying to be one of those... Uh, I'm gonna play video games and get rich kind of guys, which uh, would be nice. So give them a give them some help. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you will. It helps the algorithm, they say. I don't even know what that is, but anyway, let's uh, check this guy out. I'm just gonna go for the unboxing. He your toys. Um, let's see. Can I just can I open this without destroying the box? Um, sorry kid, I can't, <laughs> I was, it's got those little circle stickies, they're sometimes easier to take off, but, sorry man, let's open, okay, we're opening this sucker up right here, live, unboxing, well not live, but live to me, alright, so, put that right there, look at this guy, He's all tail. Oh, he's only got two legs or, or hands. What a weird looking figure. <laughs> That's... Damn. This guy's. Uh... Oh, there's tape right here, of course. Let's check him out. And the good thing is I get to compare him with the Godzilla figure because I still have it. All right. <laughs> this is an awkward figure. <laughs> check him out. He's trippy. He's got an eyeball right there, but the skull's on the outside. A little different. He's a weird figure. Well, I guess if you like Godzilla and all that, he was a must, because uh, here he is. So trippy. I vaguely remember this guy in the movie. I guess he got his ass kicked. I'm pretty sure he did. But I do remember seeing him because I remember the skull face. At least I think I did. So, there he is. <laughs> He's all tail. This is the weirdest figure, I gotta say. With well, the paint looks good. It's decent. I feel... Well, I'll compare it with the Godzilla one in a sec, and then uh, I'll see how they go by feel. But um, anyway, while we're here, let me get the Godzilla figure so we can check it out real quick. All right, so here he is. So Godzilla's, the minus one is obviously bigger, but I think they scale good because 
this is the scale that they're both doing them so yeah they look good so I gotta say which one feels better hmm. I can't tell you I, I don't know how I feel about like these are so different than what I'm used to like transformers and stuff so this one is definitely more detailed it's got a lot of uh like it's the plastic feels rough like hard on this one and this one feels more like plastic like what you're used to like a little it's got more give to it more bend whereas this one i feel like it can break so this is i don't know i don't know man i guess it just depends on on what you like but this one feels more safe to me moving around but anyway that's a quick size comparison and um i'm sorry but uh beast wars megatron is still bigger than all of them chug scale <laughs> but yeah real quick that was just a little size comparison right there and um let's move this guy out of the way for right now and let us check out his articulation okay because this is a weird character so let's start with the dome piece he can move oh wow well there we go there's some action right there the mouth oh look at that shit it's crazy reminds me of my ex-girlfriend just kidding but it's kind of cool it's got nice detail the tongue is um it's there it's like rubbery or something papery i don't know okay well that that makes them look a little cooler this weird ass figure so the head um the neck not too much movement there it can rotate full exorcist it's got two rotations here two of these neck joints um you can't really yeah he could look down i'm so afraid of these these are all on ball joints though so they're all connected so i know that they can pop off if you're too rough with them but um can you look up yeah he can look up about that far um what else does his uh he's got the full 360 on the leg or arm whatever it is Oh shit, he can go forward and say hello. Back, he's a little more limited because he's got this spike right here. His ankle can rock all the way back and up. So you can probably pull the guy doing like some weird run. Kind of like that. Which is kind of cool. Um. Let's see the tail. Okay, so all this ass right here, this tail, it's on ball joints, kind of like Godzilla's tail, but only two here, and then the third one is up for the long one. So this doesn't have much. Right here, it softens up at the very end. So it won't stay, but you can flex it around. Weird tail, huh? It's like a, it's like a sword. So, okay, that's pretty much it for articulation. So I think, I think just pose them and uh, set it and forget it, huh? Just leave them be there, fighting Godzilla. So, <laughs> what else is left? Um, I th I think it looks cool. Um, it's pretty small. These figures are small. That's honestly my only grab with them. He's about like four inches. Um, lengthwise though with that ass, that tail. He's like a solid 15. So that's that's pretty crazy. Um, like I was saying, my only grab with these figures is that they're really small. They're pricey too from what I've seen. But they're cool. Um, if you don't have a lot of room. And you're just a fan of these. And you don't want to drop a shit ton of money on, on these things. These are the way 
to go. I want to get a Godzilla figure, but I actually want to get a Godzilla statue because I just really want something big, like at least as big as Devastator back there or Mega Supreme so they can do battle. But I have yet to find one that I really, really am down to, to buy. But I'm sure he'll come out. Spiral Studios looks like they have some pretty badass ones, so I might go with that one day. But in the meantime, I mean, this is cool. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think these obscure characters are cool. What are these, the kaijus or whatever? They're okay. If you're collecting them and you're going to set a big old battle diorama thing going, then yeah, these will fit in because they can be the ones that get their asses kicked. But um, I would get Kong. <laughs> Might as well get Kong so you can fight Godzilla. But it's not bad. They look pretty cool. Sorry, I don't know what else to do with this review. I, I just think that um, I'm not too familiar with these characters, so I can't really... I mean, Godzilla is Godzilla, but these guys, I can't really tell you too much about them or, or if they look exactly correct. But if that's what he looked like in the movie, I mean, I guess they got it. They nailed it. And Hia Toys is pretty good. It does feel solid, though. I'm not, like I said, I'm not afraid of breaking this one, whereas this one, I feel like it could break a little more. So, yeah, Hia Toys, I can't do a proper comparison until I get a Hia Godzilla in here and maybe I can do a comparison but in the meantime that's all I got for you guys sorry it's not really my cup of tea but I gave it a try but it doesn't look too bad if you like big ass tails um, so sorry Godzilla it's not about you today it's more about this guy but he feels good he feels solid I well there you go some more flex to him <laughs> You can probably pull them pretty cool. Like, like he's like walking or running. <laughs> Alright, y'all. That's all I got. I'm a loss for words. But um here he is. The tail dude. Skull devil. Shit. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Have a good one. I'll talk to you on the when I talk to you. I mean uh, I'll see you on the next one. I just butchered this whole video, but I'm going to leave it up anyway. Whatever. Bye.